In high school, we started a rookie first robotics competition team. We built the robot in six weeks, made it to the Orlando Regional, and that robot... Looks like 1390 may still have some drivetrain problems. They're not moving. ...was awful. Actually, I'm hearing gears grinding into that little doggy. Doesn't sound like a happy puppy. It must have had some pretty severe mechanical problems from this morning. Our robot never made it more than a few feet away from the starting position on the field, but how often is it a team shows up that nobody knew that they were struggling? If only there was a group of mentors I could have tuned into to watch them build a robot who would have been willing to answer questions and offer suggestions like, maybe you shouldn't use those window motors on your drivetrain, you should really consider using the sim motors instead. This Saturday, there's another first kickoff, and I'm sure you're excited about it, but if you're feeling overwhelmed, tune in to us immediately after your kickoff event and watch a group of first alumni build a robot as fast as possible. We'll be putting up tips, tricks, and how-to videos and information to point you in the right direction. We'll be answering as many questions as possible from any student genuinely looking for help. Try out some of our ideas, prototype them, reverse engineer them, make them your own, make them better, or make up something completely different. Your robot in one weekend video inspired us to use some of your design, mainly because the tools we have at Swanaka. Uh, Instead of using uh, the string as you guys used, what we did was we added chain to it. It's easier to keep uh, in sync. We could basically incorporate all those designs into uh, our wooden robot. Cascading lifts, linear slides, double wheel shooters, none of these are even our ideas. They're ideas that other teams have used successfully in the past. There are dozens of other videos out there on YouTube on how to make these ideas, and we'd love to see it when teams share their experiences with others. Hello, I'm Seth. I'm from the uh, robotics team Piders, and uh, this video is on linear slides. First alumni clubs are starting robot and one weekend teams to introduce new people to FIRST to volunteer with teams and events. Our mentors from Polytechnic came all build season long and to lots of our competitions. What I love about FIRST is that there will always be teams who push the envelope beyond what I was even thought was possible with these robots. If you have an innovative idea, go for it. Shoot for the stars. Do something I've never seen before. If it gets to the weekend before your event, and you still don't have it working, well, use our idea as your backup plan. And then there'll be teams who struggle, like mine did. Hey, look at the Red Alliance boss just racing across the arena. <laughs> use your imagination. We're proud to be your online mentors. And remember, if you score a single point this season, you did better than me in high school. I thought I'd to go to obedience school. He is not paying attention. I need to feed him some uh, pure Today I work at the Kinney Space Center on the Orion spacecraft. So here's to the teams with low funding, or no mentor support, or in rustic areas or inner city areas, or who have to overcome insurmountable odds just to arrive at their first competition. I got attacked by a clown. Was he big or was he ugly? He was both. Here's to the team that places their robot named David on the same field across from a robot named Goliath. Step into your starting box, pick up your controllers, give a fist bump to your alliance partner, and quote Leroy Jenkins. Time's up. Let's do this.